You want to make sure? Yes. I, I don't like to waste my time. Yes, I would like to see that. Okay. like to see the check. And included with that is my bank statements as well. You'll look on my bank statements, you'll see the highlighted deposits that were put into my account to pay for said Just money. Just a minute. Orders. So I have one money order for $200. Yes. And that was Bird. Tell me what the date is here, would you please? Could you bring it just a little Rent. closer? What? Could you bring it just a little closer? <laughs> Well, that looks I like just eight, nine, two, well eight nine, That's but I was right. looking something oh. over here. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Over there. Oh, it does. Where? Isn't that it right there? August August ninth, two thousand sixteen. Perfect. So that he paid that to the landlord, and then he paid again seven hundred and ninety-five dollars for rent, and then he paid February second, two thousand seventeen. I have a check for eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. No, that was actually my money because I gave him the money to put into his account to get no, a money order from no, no, the bank. <laughs> now, no, that, that's, now that's, listen to me, that's slick. So you gave him money to put into his account and at the same time you complained to the landlord and you wanted him evicted. Yes. It was actually uh, prior you know, Just a second, to... you, know, I'm not, you know I'm finding that difficult, <laughs> Miss Sandy. I'm finding it difficult that you went to the landlord to have him evicted and at the same time I'm going to find that he paid February's rent simple. He paid February's rent. Okay, so you had a fight. You said get out. You wanted him out for a while and you're not getting along, Mr. Williams. It's clear that you aren't getting along. Why didn't you leave? Yes, but that's not exactly what happened. That's not at all what happened, to be honest with you, Your Honor. I mean, between February 1st, mm -hmm. when she's going to show me that she had gone to the landlord and schmoozed the landlord and the landlord gave you an eviction notice because she didn't feel comfortable with you there anymore, whatever reason, did you and Miss Sandy share the same room? Yes, we shared the same room. February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th? All the way to the 22nd. Did you share the same bid? Yes, ma'am, we did. Is that correct? Correct. So let me understand this. He paid the rent for February. You spoke to the landlord February 1st to have him evicted. Correct. And you continued to sleep with him. I had nowhere else to go. I mean, it was my home, so... You, what, what, is there not a couch? Actually, there was somebody living with us at the time, so no, ma'am, there was not. Who was living with you? Uh, his friend, Joe. No, there was somebody named Justin that was there that she had moved in. You have a friend, Joe, who was living with you? No, my friend Joe at that time was in Indiana, Your Honor. So far, you owe him $895, Miss Sandy. Now, Mr. Williams, what items of furniture, large items, because the police escorted you out, what items of large furniture can you demonstrate to me that you purchased? Miss uh, Sandy says that you purchased certain items together. No. You left them there, and therefore they belong to her. No. That's your answer. Correct. So let's go through some big items, and don't tell me about a Monopoly set or a diffuser. Just tell me about things yes, that made it worthwhile for me to go to law school. What was left at the property that I've included in my small claims uh, findings is a 50-inch Samsung 4K TV. I okay. paid $900 for Just it. Just 50-inch TV, mm -hmm. Samsung. $900 for it. On what date, sir? It was 2015, and then 15. in 2016, while we lived together in August, I purchased another additional 50-inch Samsung smart TV. Is that correct? That is correct. Where is his 2015 TV? The one that he is referring to, we bought together. Show me the receipt. I don't have the receipt. Where is the 2015 TV? Uh, it's not actually a 2015 TV. It was actually used. We bought off of Facebook, off of Marketplace. We paid $325 for it. Your Honor, the TV that she's referring to, I bought it from a friend of mine named Brian who runs Dinwiddie Classifieds. I actually paid $320 for the television. I had $300 cash in my pocket, and I had the receipt for it right here. Your Honor, that's the one he purchased with an ex-girlfriend by the name just, of... Just a second. I don't care who he purchased it with. Where is it? He's got it. She doesn't have it. Next! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I had a Polk sound bar that I bought at H.H. H. Craig. It's a speaker bar that goes underneath your television. You know what he's be careful what you say to me. Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, that I purchased on a gift card that he would give me as a gift. Did not give her that as a gift, Your Honor. I bought a $1,000 bed at H.H. H. Craig the month before, and they gave me a $200 gift card, and we went to H.H. H. Craig, and I actually bought... They're his. He's going to come and pick them up. Okay, speakers. It's not speakers. It's just a sound bar. Sound bar. Whatever it is, he's coming to get it. 